Well, here in Fiji there are many churches. This one is the Assembly of God. And above it you see written 180 degrees meridian. Ha ha, you say to yourself. Indeed. Um, this is a rugby pitch actually. But the reason why I'm here is not to gawk at the um, rugby pitch that needs a bit of water, I think. But to gawk at this. This sign here, put up by the Rotary Club of Tava Uni Island to celebrate the new millennium back uh, a few years ago. This, ladies and gentlemen, is 180 degrees longitude. And of course, that is the direct other side of the planet than zero degrees longitude, which of course passes through Greenwich. And it is from that that uh, the world's time zones, the world's time, the world's navigation uh, was established well, because of those events at Greenwich, actually, and the desire to find longitude. Latitude was never a problem, but longitude was the one that was um, holding things back. And um, if I remember correctly, there was, I don't know if it was the UK government or whatever it was, British government, English government, I think the, the prize was something like £20,000 to whoever could come up with longitude. And um, somebody did. A lot of money back then. Still is today, I suppose. And that was, I don't know, a couple of hundred, 250, 300 years ago. Anyway, but this is the, is the exact opposite of it. This is the planet is divided into 360 degrees. This is 180, which of course is half of 360. Zero is Greenwich. And 180, if you look at it on a map, it just, one end of it is the, is, is the North Pole and, and the uh, other end of it is the South Pole. And it passes through different places. Um, some of those places are, of course, countries. And one of those countries is Fiji. And, and so... It would be a little difficult, I suppose, if a country were actually to, to be split into different days. So if you look at the actual international date line, it does dogleg around, um, I think it's about three countries. Um, Fiji being one of them. Um, this is, and I think it's three islands in Fiji that that uh, line goes through. And uh, this, I'm on one of those islands now, Tavauni. And this is part of where that imaginary line goes through. It probably does move every year by a few inches, I suspect. But anyway, so how about that? Jolly good show, Matthews. Oh, by the way, let me zoom in here. Do you see what's through there? Hmm. Some bananas growing. And uh, a lot of pawpaw or papaya growing around here as well. And passion fruit. Haven't seen any pineapples yet. Okay, and rhubarb. Oh boy, I'm a little bit too warm for rhubarb. Okay, bye darling, love you, bye.